thank you so much for that warm welcome and thank you VSTCS for having me today. Uh, let me try to kick off by sharing my screen. And if somebody could give me an indication that you see my screen, that'll be great. Yep, it's showing. OK. Thank you. Fantastic, fantastic. All right. Look, so first off, thank you so much, everyone, uh, for making the time. I know it is a Friday afternoon. We're so close to the weekend. Um, and yet you took you know, about what an hour more uh, of an hour and a half of your time uh, this afternoon to join us in a couple of sessions moving forward. There's Microsoft Surface as well as the Microsoft 365 opportunity. And so I want to kick off uh, very quickly, quickly with an introduction of myself. My name is Beth Watson. Uh, I'm the Modern Work and Security Business Lead from Microsoft Philippines. Essentially what that means is I manage uh, three core businesses, Microsoft 365, Microsoft Security, as well as Surface. Uh, now, as we zoom in to, sur to Microsoft Surface, I am incredibly excited about this one. Uh, and some of you may be familiar, may have heard of Microsoft Surface in the past, but for those who have yet to hear about Microsoft Surface, I just want to start off with a very quick look back because you may be wondering, what is Microsoft doing in the hardware business? What are we doing? Why are we bringing laptops and tablets into the Philippine market, right? Um, and why, why now, why did we even attempt to, this, is this something that Microsoft is even capable of doing? Now, as we look back, you know, Microsoft Surface as, as a line started off way back 2012 with our very first Surface Pro, right? And we've done many iterations of Surface Pro. We've added new line items. We've added Hub. We've added um, even headphones just recently. We've added, um, the larger screen devices, as well as the smaller one. And as we move forward, we are thinking, you know, how do we continue to innovate uh, as we think about Surface as a category, right? Because when we think about Surface, what we want to do here is we don't necessarily want to want to cannibalize the <laughs> the market, if you will, right? The idea behind driving services, we believe as a company that Microsoft is uniquely positioned to bring together a device where we created the device from the ground up, as well as fully understanding the software that is running on top of it, being Windows, of course, and Office and all these other applications. And so we wanted to create a premium line where we could showcase what the best hardware can offer in alignment to what Windows and our platforms as Microsoft can offer. Okay. Now, why are we, as we think about Microsoft Surface, what really is the value proposition for our customers? Now, we fully acknowledge digital transformation is fast. I, I think uh, it's probably been used more in the in all these other sessions. No, it's fast. It's becoming the lifeblood of every business, every industry, especially nowadays, right? Businesses today must innovate. It, they think around, you know, how do we get work done? Where does it get done? And the devices and solutions needed to enable everything for your customers. Simply put, the way we work is changing. I think especially nowadays, we fully acknowledge that remote and hybrid work are becoming the new norm, right? There was a time but just a couple couple of years, three years ago, where I would have conversations with CIOs and they would go, no, we're not seeing remote work anytime soon. And then bam, right? And the reality is this is this was sort of a wake up call to realize that we have at, that organizations are challenged to be much more resilient, right? Your your customers are thinking about now moving forward. How do we be more? How can we be more resilient? When things like this happen, how can we respond better? How can we respond faster? Because in reality, change is constant. But the, freak, the, the, the pace of it has significantly increased, right? We know that remote and hybrid work is the norm, but we also acknowledge that it brings benefits, but also it brings challenges, 
diba? we, we fully acknowledge increasing complex IT environments is one of the challenges. There are so many new devices connecting to, let's say, your, cor your customer's corporate network. Different kinds of devices, different platforms being run. There's this need to provision and deploy devices remotely without sacrificing security, right? Which means they're thinking about, okay, I need to get this desktop PC set sent to my to my employees, but I need to make sure that this is secure, that the that the apps that are going to be accessed on this device is secure. The connections of these devices to our corporate network is secure. That the identities of the employees logging into these devices are secure. That the data sitting on these devices are also secure. Right? There's pressure. There's a lot of pressure to scale, to bring services to market faster, to be able to reduce costs, especially nowadays. Right? Now, teams as well need to be flexible. They need to be productive. They need to be able to work securely from home uh, with granularity with with flexibility around working from home as well as working from the office. And finally, as we think about challenges, the threats, cyber threats, right, is making organizations look at a device beyond just a productivity tool. But really, as we think about the increase of cyber threats, there's this necessity to look at advanced security, proactive security across devices, users, apps, but fundamentally, what organizations, what your customers are trying to secure is their data, right? So to overcome these challenges, it's now imperative for the business to embrace more modern technology. I think at this point in time, this is established, right? Modern tech is a strategic enabler for success. It helps your customers pivot quickly. It helps them navigate uncertainty. It helps them make faster decisions through data. Uh, collaborate faster through collaboration tools and fundamentally embrace all these new ways of working now as well as in the future. Now, IT and business leaders want to empower their employees with intelligent devices and software that's familiar, right? They enjoy using the device, they can rely on the device no matter where they're working. So, blurring the lines between working on site. Working offsite ensures you know, a more dependable and enjoyable user experience versus one that feels disconnected and draining, right? Being productive heavily relies on enabling people to work in ways most natural for them, right? You know, empowering teams to collaborate and brainstorm beyond the confines of a conference room opens the door for greater inclusivity and greater results, especially now. Now that Let's say your, even your teams, right, had to be able to collaborate to continue to brainstorm, and you can no longer bring everyone in a conference room, right? And so, how do you ensure that if you may, if you do have the ability to use conference rooms for two, three employees, then the rest of them are gonna have to join remotely. And when they join remotely, do they feel disconnected? Do they see the whiteboard with you? Are they able to co-author with you on those whiteboards, right? Now, all of these require a portfolio of devices that are versatile, that are optimized for the software that they run, that are backed by a brand that they trust, right? And can enable long-term value for the business and everything from the device to the apps that it runs. It must remain highly secure. Oops. Let me go back to my previous slide. All right, so there's this necess necessity for security. And you also want to make sure that when you think about security, ideally security is integrated right, within the existing security stack. Instead of having to in, uh, purchase multiple security solutions and then having to make them work together. Which brings us to Surface, right? right. We believe that Surface is that modern tech. We believe that you know, these are devices designed to make the most of the software that you rely on every day. So it can empower your customers, employees, and even yourselves to be more agile, more connected, productive, and secure, no matter where you, your customers, employees are working from. Now, what I'm showing you here is the full line of Surface for Business that's available in a lot of regions, uh, but caveat, not all of them are available in the Philippines just yet, but I wanted to show you the extent of what we're looking at from a surface perspective. No, 
So these are intentionally differentiated. Yet when you look at them, and as, as you look at the slide, right, um, you, you will notice now that they are connected through a core set of experiences. Now, they, they may be for different use cases, but we think about things that make them surface, right? So you know when you are committing to surface for your for your business or for your customer's business, you are committing to a familiar set of experiences despite the different kinds of devices for the different site, uh, kinds of personas you have within your organization. So this, this suite, their family, right? We like to think of Surface for Business as the device family for, for your work family, and we've got something for everyone. Right? Now, zooming into what we have in the Philippines today, Right. We're very, very fortunate to be working with VST ECS and without this part, part with this, this partnership that we have with VST ECS, we would not be able to, you know, make this come to life now at, in this time. No. So Surface in the Philippines right now is available specifically these four models. So I do want to also take note the word Surface for business, right? So for some of you that may be fans of the Surface for consumer line, Right. Uh, just want to take note that this is the surface for business line, which essentially means uh, technically it's a different set of SKUs altogether um, and that we're not at, not yet bringing surface for consumer line to the country. OK, now surface for business in the Philippines has four models right now available. We have the surface go for the frontline workers uh, from you know roaming customer service uh, all the way to say Mobile sales representatives, as you notice, this this, can, this is a very light device, very small device. I mean, it's generally being seen for uh, highly mobile use cases. We also have the Surface Laptop Go, uh, which is our lightest laptop. You see there's Surface Pro 7 Plus, as well as the Surface Laptop 4. Now we will go into a bit of each uh, device. Now Surface Go 2. For business. This is super exciting for me despite its its size. We're seeing use cases in very in different scenarios, different industries where it's being used even in uh, and a number of organizations that have invested in surface in the Philippines for clear industry use cases, no? Um where surface go can also be used say for education for, for students for example, where it gives you that pen experience. Um in a device that's much, much lighter, right? So Surface Go 2 is perfectly portable. It has a bigger 10.5 inch screen. Uh, there's better resolution, long battery life designed to keep up with you and your colleagues. No, you can use it like a laptop, as you can see here, or you can also detach and make it a tablet, right? So some of the key specs here, 10.5 uh, touch uh, inch touch screen, about 10 hours of battery life, about 1.2 pounds in weight, and it's significantly uh, faster than its predecessor, the Surface Go, at about 64% faster, right? So that's Surface Go 2. Let me jump into the next one. There you go. We can share this with you, and it's also available online, so I won't drain you with the specs. You will find a lot of those specs online. Uh, so next we have here the Surface Laptop Go. Now the Surface Laptop Go is our lightest Surface Laptop. Uh, it powers your essential everyday experiences. You can make an impact and an impression with Surface Laptop Go because there's a balance of performance, of course, battery life, and the beauty that helps you get your job done, right? So you can run essential apps with a 10th uh, generation i5 Intel Core processor. Uh, you can keep up with all the uh, all your work for the day with up to 13 hours of battery life. It's very light. It's 1.1 uh, uh, kilos, and it's just about 15.69 millimeters thin. And of course, you also look best in any light on video cameras th on your video calls uh, through the HD camera as well. So that's the Surface Laptop Go. Then we have Surface Pro 7 Plus, my uh, biased favorite. Uh, now the Surface Pro 7 Plus is our classic. It's it's the first 
uh, model in the surface line. It's our classic ultralight two-in-one for business uh, device. It's faster than ever, and it keeps you productive with improved all-day battery life. And potentially uh, in other countries and potentially in the Philippines, we might see the optional LTE uh, version as well. Now, the Surface Pro 7 is twice the times faster than Pro 7, right? Uh, it's it's now running 11th uh, gen Intel Core processor. Uh, the previous one, Pro 7, was running the 10th gen. Uh, there's more battery life that's up to 15 hours. Another thing we've significantly improved with the Plus uh, model is around data security. We've enabled removable SSD, right? Um, and of course, productivity anywhere, right? So that is the Pro 7 Plus. And finally, in the line is our Laptop 4 for business, right? So Surface Laptop 4, it's designed to provide your customers and your organization with, you know, a rich set of device options. So this one's equipped with an 11th gen as well, Intel Core processor. Uh, then, of course, you have an option uh, right now that we have the i5 and you also see the specs at the right. If it's yeah, readable, there you go. And you'll also find, uh, you know, the available specs online comes in 13.5 uh, as well as 15 inches. Now, of course, our laptop devices, uh, our surface line also comes with. Uh, there you go. Now, uh, it also comes with our accessories, right? So we will continue to bring new design features. You'll see uh, we also have, of course, our, uh, we call this type cover, um, as well as pen available to give you the best experience with your Surface devices. Now, you're probably thinking, how am I going to position Surface differently? Like there may be demand, but then in the end of the day, as you talk to your customers and they would probably try to want to understand how is this significantly different from, say, the existing devices I already have. And these are just a few key items where you would feel uh, the key difference. So number one, think about collaboration, uh, enabling productivity, enabling uh, collaboration from anywhere. So definitely with our high performance ship and also imagine the same manufacturer uh, building these devices is the same that's also building and running Windows, right? So we have depth of understanding of how the OS run and how to optimally run OS, the OS as well as apps on top of it. Now, when you think about collaboration there, this is where I see a lot of use cases come up, especially with Surface Pro <clears throat> 7 Plus as well as GoTo, where you have where you can use say the pen experience, it's super light, uh, but the ability to collaborate, to use a pen, and especially for executives where they tend to, to, to whiteboard a lot, right? This is one of the key uh, takeaways they see from using Surface. And the experience is beautiful. The accuracy is great. Um, and of course, battery life, like, like I mentioned earlier. But one of the key value propositions, if you will, when we talk about Surface is really security across the entire tech stack. Right. And generally, you would see a, a gap there. You would see hardware security, the security of the OS, and then applications running on top for extra security to secure the device as well. The, the key differentiator of Surface is when we think about security, we think about protection from the chip to cloud. Right? That's something you'll hear very often when you hear about Surface, chip to cloud security. So we think about you know, BYOD, we think about remote work, um, let me go to the next slide where we go into detail here. So we think about this across all layers, right? When I meant chip to cloud, so we think about the hardware uh, level, right? So we think about defending against hardware attacks, right? Um, we have their DPM, BitLocker, and of course, Windows Hello for authentication. Now, at, at the firmware level, this is where we have something that's exclusive to Surface, where Things like UFI as well as SEM gives you the ability to, as an administrator, for example, manage firmware level settings, right? So as an administrator of your organization or say you as partners uh, where your customers trust you to make these configurations and through your services, right? You know, they 
it gives you the ability to manage that uh, at you know at, at the administrator's level but also manage firmware right so you have ufi sem as well as dfci through injun now of course moving on to the operating system right very working uh working very very closely with our windows team and then finally managing on the cloud with say injun and mdm for ufi management okay now third key value proposition for, as we talk to our customers is around simplification right so simplifying deployment and management with things like windows autopilot makes it so much easier where you can ship a device right to one of your employees for example without having to uh, take, take the extra time of let's say uh, setting up a uh, what do you call this? Uh, setting up an image and then loading that image on a new device. Uh, you can actually send a brand new device to, say, uh, any of your employees, and when they log in uh, with the power of M365 and Windows Autopilot, they just need to log in with your corporate uh, credentials, and it automatically loads the applications, the configuration that's necessary for that employee based on the policies you've already configured for that employee's profile or for, for a general profile within your company, right? So you can remotely now manage your IT environment through the power of, say, Microsoft Intune as well, which in turn simplifies. Now, it makes it so much easier to manage, right? So that also uh, lessening the complexity translates to lessening costs, right? Um, you also get to retain your SSDs. Uh, this was a challenge in the past when we were not able to remove the SSD uh, to remain compliant. And then finally, of course, making it much, much easier to uh, make claims over your Surface devices. Now, as you think about you know, your conversations with, with potent, your potential customers in the future, the beauty of having a multi-layered security approach is that you're looking about you're looking at security end to end from the device all the way to managing that device as well as all the layers of security all through the cloud right and that's one of the advantages of having a microsoft 365 powered surface right so as you think about you know let's say you are today um, a reseller of microsoft and you're selling office 365 and microsoft 365 the, uh, the opportunity for you to land bundles of Surface and M365 is huge because then it gives you the opportunity to land that message I shared earlier about true end-to-end -end security and ease of management and lessening complexity, right? Another key point here is around how it works really, really well with our productivity tools, right? So think Microsoft Surface and Microsoft Teams. So for a lot of organizations that are using Microsoft Teams, when they use Microsoft Surface with that, and I personally uh, use one of my demo units um, of a Surface, you know, um, I personally experience how different it is when you can whiteboard, you know, in a Microsoft Teams meetings, you can whiteboard with the power of a Surface Pen and it's, it's easy and it's it's it works great right but i think most importantly when you have conversations i know one of the biggest of course always is a conversation that always comes up is how about cost right and while there is a premium we fully acknowledge i think i started with surface being the premium line right and there is a premium on surface but we're also seeing based on our experience with customers savings as well right so we're seeing savings around reduction of security breaches right so it may be there may be targeting hardware level they may be targeting um, even os level uh, and trying to get uh, let's say firmware running at the os layer or at the apps layer and <clears throat> and what we're seeing there is we're seeing reduction right because it it simplifies the management the security management aspect we're also seeing savings around spend, right? Because if you have to spend on endpoint protection solutions and then paying up for the advanced premium version of those endpoint security solutions that are going to run on Windows 10, 
or Windows nonetheless, uh, then right, might as well use the one that's already running on top of Windows, right? With Windows Defender, uh, Microsoft Defender for endpoint, right? And then finally, we're also seeing reduction in mobile device management spend because you can also use Microsoft 365 with Surface. Um, and Microsoft 365 specifically in June allows you to manage not just uh, Surface devices and Microsoft first party devices, but across the board, pretty much every device as well, including uh, devices such as, say, uh, the Apple line, iPads, and even Android phones and tablets. Right, so there's significant spend there, uh, savings there. Now, there are cost. Of course, we have customer stories around, you know, the value of Surface and why they've chosen Surface. But if I were to leave you with, with, with a key message here, right? There's this massive opportunity for Surface. We have customers across the globe that trust the Surface brand uh, because of a number of factors. It just works. It's secure. Um, it's easy to manage. It gives a premium feel uh, to to the employees, right? As they as they use Surface Pro, um, and there's there's massive. It's pretty much greenfield when you think about the Philippines, right? Because we just launched, right? So, yeah, um, I will leave it at that for now for Surface because I do want to save some time for questions on Microsoft Surface. <laughs>